And here we are. This is the area that we had just started in. When we got to, I think, this point, that's when he says that, oh, yeah, I didn't know anybody was over there. I'm in the bridge, etc., etc. And now it's open, and there's Dr. Ramus. We can talk to him. He's not hostile. Okay, let's confront this bastard. Let's go Wheatley. I think you're the charismatic one, right? Yeah, nine charisma. Or, sorry, Relax. Yeah, we're lax. I don't know if it matters. Fuck. There we go. I think it breaks when you go into here and you select people. It gets very confused. We'll save real quick. Can I loot shit? <clears throat> no, that's the objective though. All right, sir. Let's chat. Well, I see we have arrived at an impasse. It seems my research is on hold. For now. Yes, your experiments have been put the mission in jeopardy. I can read, I promise. Right, we were all briefed on the biological contamination protocol. I was so careful. This life form is tenacious. A bit too much so, I would say. I'll need to examine that carefully. Perhaps a slight deviation in the RNA sequencing. We can only hope that the virus hasn't spread to all the vets. I feel like I'm playing along. You must believe me when I say it was never my intent to threaten the mission. So many lives lost. I only want to help. I believe, even now with all my being, that there, is, that there is some benefits in my work. I do believe that I am very close to creating a vaccine for the phage, among other things. I had not anticipated that Kelly would come snooping around the vats and it'd get bitten. And had get bitten? No, and, and get bitten. <sighs> Her curiosity spread the infection through the crew deck, nearly killing everyone. You see, unlike my colleagues, I do not believe the phage was left behind. It has been hibernating deep in the nerve tissue of all of us, even the sleepers. I've seen evidence of the tissue samples we've been gathering over the years. Phage will continue to plague us when we arrive at our destination. We've brought it with us. Everybody's infected. This latest round of serum induces the symptoms you've seen. My subjects do not spread the disease, they cause a phage to manifest, to come out of hiding in the bodies of all those who are already infected. The serum then begins to mutate the phage virus, rendering it harmless. The side effects, however, are undesirable, unexpected. A little more research, and I should have the cure. Hmm, your research is unethical. Frightening, even. We'll stick to it. I'm sorry to hear that you feel that way. I do not agree, however. The promise for a cure for phage is worth the lives that were lost. I agree that things are a bit out of control. I had no idea that the virus would mutate the human hosts. The polyps were a surprise to say the least, not to mention the fleshy masses. Rather disturbing actually, but manageable with a little more research. I couldn't have foreseen the mutation. Amazing, really. I only wish I had more time to study the results. I believe this is only the beginning. The masses are doing something to the sleepers in the vats. The sleepers are hibernating, mutating as we speak. The masses are feeding them nutrients, changing them. Something amazing is about to happen. I can feel it. I knew when I saw the masses growing in the vats that it was only a matter of time before the protocol was enacted. That's why I needed access to the labs. I wanted to find a way to neutralize the spread of the virus, to contain it in a single cryo bay and keep it out of the suspension fluids. If that nosy Dr. Jensen hadn't found my sample in the medical bay, I could have kept this under control. Wasn't for you meddling, Dr. Jensen's. It's too late for that. We have little time. Yes, I ramble. Well, I suppose you're here to engage the emergency escape systems. Exactly. You can engage them, but I cannot let you take an escape pod. I'll be needing both of them. You see, my experiments have taken a liking to me. I've grown quite attached to them, and them to me. I'll be taking both pods, along with my samples, research, and my new friends. I'm terribly sorry about all this, but I cannot let you stand in my way. We won't let you do that. I don't think you have much of a choice in the matter. I'm really sorry. I really am. My research is too important. When the vats arrive at their destination, I'll need to be there to round them up and continue my experiments. Any sleepers that are not actively infected will need to be vaccinated. The future of mankind depends on it. Come, my friends. Help me. Open fire. Oh my god. He's got an automatic weapon. So, he has... He has backup somewhere, probably around the corner. Somewhere, not sure where. Uh, we'll kill him first, though.
nothing that way. Nothing that way. Where's your backup, sir? <laughs> Are you lying? Don't lie, Doc. Burst fire in the arms. I have burst fire too, you fuck. Oh, he's got a shield too. <laughs> Figures as much. Shields are pretty poopy though. Enemies turn. Don't know where they are. It might have been like around around the corner. Yeah, I think that's where they were. All right, so a bit of a problem. We'll uh, Wheatley. Solo this guy. Hold them off, Wheatley. If we kill Dr. Jensen, maybe... I don't know. Maybe something will happen to the sleepers. Yeah. They've grown attached to one another, he says. Maybe the relationship is more than just like a social thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. Regardless, I think he's probably... Oh, the most dangerous one here. It's a bastard using my own person as cover like that. I have to spend an AP to move around him. Don't know where the rest are. More movement though. There's a lot of people. Oh god. Wheelie. Wheelie. Hold them back. Sleeper is blocked. Good. Fuck him. Yeah, there's some on that side too. Shit, man. Oh my god. There's a lot of them. I bet Doc has medkits too. It might be best just to fight the sleepers first. Oh my god, there's so many of them though. What the fuck? If only I had grenades. Um. Yeah, I keep doing that. And then kneel and shoot. Distancing yourselves here and Wheatley's acting as a block for these guys. Gives you a three. Yeah. I have to do that. Burst fire. Switch to single fire. Yay, crippled. Nice. That's about one of the best things he could have hoped for. So he should only be able to burst fire once now rather than twice. Uh, we'll have to get a little me. Well, we don't have many med kits, do we? We have one med kit left. Cut him up. Oh, they're weak. Oh, they're really weak. Okay. Yeah, let's take care of them first. They're really weak. <laughs> Their turn order is really working against them. The guys in front are going last this round, so the guys in the back who went first are blocked. They can't do anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys still hurt, though, a bunch. Yeah, let's take care of these guys, because if we get surrounded, we're fucked. Because they can attack like four or five times per round. That'll be about like 20 to 30 damage at least per, which is just way too much. So he's crippled, so let's... Uh... That might be enough to kill this guy, maybe. Oh, okay. Not quite enough. They're a little healthier than I thought. This guy seems to be going down quickly, though. Only have one med kit. Focus fire, bring this guy down. A guy with one health does as much damage as somebody with a hundred. Leveled up, very cool. Switch function, point blank burst fire. Focus on him a little bit. And then switch over to... Hey, you level two. Nice. We'll level next turn, probably. And Wheatley.
Keep fucking this guy up. Oh, come on, Wheatley. You can medkit from back there? Damn, I didn't know that. That's mean, though. Sleeper's blocked. Yeah, there's a third one back here somewhere. This guy's been in the way, though, and he's going to finish off Wheatley in, like, one hit. Oh. Yep, Wheatley's down. I don't know if I can medkit you while you're down. I don't know how that works. So many of them, though. All right, he got healed up. In fact, Ramus is no longer crippled. Um, yeah, like all the sleepers are back up to full health now. We killed one that we can't loot during combat. So part of me's thinking. No dice. All right. Well, you can level at least. A little more perception. Bit more endurance. Always just get like a touch of endurance. Looks like we gain more hit points just simply by leveling. Which is cool, the higher endurance, the more you would get. Fuck it, this is all perception. There you go, 14 to 26 damage with the pistols. Seems pretty good. Yeah, shoot him, reload. I'll just keep focusing on him, I guess. Because I don't know. Whatever we focus on, we all need to focus on it, though. We're very quickly getting surrounded by these bastards, and there's more of them back there, too. Like, I'm just hoping something happens if we kill him. Alternatively, we just make a run for the console. I don't think we can interact with it during combat, though. Just like we can't loot during combat. How much rifle ammo do we have? Not really any. Mm. All right, yeah, keep working on him. We're doing a pretty good amount of damage to him. Hopefully he doesn't just medkit next turn. Hopefully we can kill him before then. And you leveled. Damage for all weapon types. Range up to 1324. 1420 advantage is better to go with perception. We'll uh, we'll keep rocking perception. It affects hit chance and damage pretty well. Uh, switch fire mode to burst fire. Please don't miss. Nice, 26 damage killed him. Does anything cool happen? No. Hmm. Well, at least we took out the healer, so there's that. Uh. No, it's just these guys. I'm a little concerned about Wheatley. Because he's got a health bar that's missing a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that's draining every turn or what. 
He might just be out just for the combat. You know. They don't do too much damage. It's just if they focus, if they surround somebody and focus fire, we'll be in a bit of trouble. But if they keep spreading the damage like this, we'll be okay. 95%? Jesus, you could probably go for some headshots. I don't know if it's worth going for headshots. 11, 12, 11, 11. Seems pretty good. And her skills now, I think, 16. If we hit 20, we can uh, do a talent. Something to note about the talents is uh, you can switch them out at any time, even during combat. Which I sort of disagree with. Because if you can switch them out at any time, like any round at any time, I can switch them out. I'd even be able to uh, switch them out, shoot, switch them out again, do something else. We're hobbled now. Annoying. Uh, fucking up my legs. So it takes more to move than I assume. Um, I may as well then just have all the talents then. Like effectively, just to save time, I could just have all the talents. But we'll see what they do. We'll see what they're like. Maybe they're so vastly different that, uh... Yeah, well, I'll just shoot him. We'll see what that leaves us. Yeah, you missed. All right. Try again. <sighs> there we go. May as well kneel. guy I guess next and then you have to reload and little me will have pick on these guys oh reload running a bit low on pistol ammo now oh my god so much damage bleeding too very nice Neil, finish off this guy, if you can. Got him. Nice. He was bleeding, but I don't think he would have blood enough. Now, four AP left. Switch over to this. Change out the weapon. Heal yourself. Eighteen. Not a lot, but it's enough. Then inventory, put your pistol back on. Just in case. That might be enough to keep you alive, or at the very least distract them for another round. So I don't know. I don't know how much friendly fire is going to be an issue, so we'll take it one shot at a time. Cool. Got him. And he hadn't taken his turn yet, I don't think, so that was a good target to go for. And he is working on Werelax. So, Judith, I think you're... I think you're okay. You can run next turn. Everything will be fine. Yeah, you can tell Relax is the one without much perception because uh, he's only doing like, yeah, like eight damage. Everybody else is doing, uh, well, like 30% more. Big difference. Oh. Oh. 
Charg. Ah, you asshole. Of course you wouldn't miss. It's okay. I think we've got it, though. And this this guy crits and takes out Warlock, so we might have a bit of a problem. Let's work on this guy. Oh, 41 damage crit. Holy shit, little me. Damn. I can't tell if you always crit uh, when you level your skill or if critting just gives you so much experience that they always just end up getting enough to level. So, blam and then fall back a lot. You could at least kite, I think. Will you go for little me? Nope, they're pretty hell-bent on you. They pick their target and they stick with it. So here you might still be able to see it. Yep, standing shot should be fine. You're pretty accurate. Saw an 82%. 81% that'll be fine. And then he can reload. <laughs> Kiting. Oh, your turn again. Nice. Uh, yep, step up a bit. As far as you can go with 6 AP. And then open fire. Might be able to kill him this turn. Never mind. We're <laughs> running away now. Oh fuck, I'm a mindless drone. Oh god, jump out the window. Jumps out the window, shatters it. Fucking vacuum of space sucks us all out. God damn it. Yeah, we at least still like max health under uh, under KO status, so I guess that just lasts for combat. So if everybody's KO, then you lose, I guess. Yep, and we're okay. It's just a shame that they're out of that combat because that's a lot of shooting, a lot of experience that they no longer get. But that's fine. That was a pretty uh, pretty difficult battle. I'll be honest. So what have we got here? Run you back up. No loot on that guy. We've got probably just a lot of vendor trash. Yep. Vendor trash. No vendor trash. Data card content unknown. New entry deck to Ramus. Okay, yeah, that's what that was. Presumably his final entry. Research entry 78. The captain was so compliant. It's not the right one. I can't arrow over to another one. Hmm. Never mind then. And you dropped... Trash! Okay, and then loot. Anything at all. There's a console here. I think this is one of the escape pods though. Don't think the loot here is that the guy, yeah, which is presumably a second escape pod. Or do I do both? At the two control panels. Oh, okay. Get off this fucking ship. I 
ship is ejecting vats in an attempt to save the remaining sleepers who are not infected. You've engaged the emergency escape system. Get to a pod. There are two on this deck. Are there though? I, I don't actually know where they would be. I feel a bit dumb for saying that, but I think we've explored this entire, uh, entire map. That's the engineering station. That's the engineering station. Oh, was it? It wouldn't be in this pan room, I don't think. Was it? Yeah, that. I saw that coming up here. Okay. And I thought, oh, wow, that stands out. I wonder what that is. You know, those are your escape pods. Can you hear me? Oh my god, a cinematic. Holy shit. Keep your eyes closed for now. You've been rescued. We found your escape pod. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your team. You're the only survivor. What? I know, I know. Please, just try to... Bitch, you better be wrong. I spent a while making those characters. Do you remember your name? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, because Wordlax was the big guns guy, ideally, but I didn't have... Uh, I didn't start with big guns, so I wasn't able to really try that out. Little me being fantastic with pistols in first aid. Little me just being all around kind of good. Let's go Werelax, because he's like the most uh, well-rounded. I don't think he actually ever leveled. Maybe he did. I don't know what to put his points into if he did. Just kind of all around the place, I think. He's actually pretty well balanced, though, so we'll go for him. I'm imagining maybe these other people are actually still alive. We just don't know where they are. Maybe. Right? Hmm. My name is Werelax. I have high charisma. Sort of. Very good. I'm sorry about the others. Please get some rest and we'll talk later. God damn it, what a curveball. <laughs> 